Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Calendar Part Three. So the first question is: First March 2006 falls on a Wednesday. What does First March 2010 falls on? So this is the question they have asked. So how to solve this? So we know that it's first March 2006. So it has crossed Feb. So we'll start counting it from 2007. So 2007 is not a leap year. So it will have one odd day. So 2008 is a leap year. So it has two. 2009 is not a leap year. So it has one odd day. 2010 it has one odd day. So they were asked till 2010. So three five. So five odd days are there. So what do we do? The question they have asked: First March 2006 is a Wednesday. So the question they have given is Wednesday. So when is 2010 first March falls? So we have five odd days in between. What do you do? It you add five. So Wednesday plus five. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it's nothing but first March 2010 falls on Monday. Let's solve another problem. So the next question that they have given is: Today is Monday. After sixty-four days, what it would be? So generally, in a week, it has seven days. Okay. So you are going to take the multiple of seven. So seven. Take the multiple of seven, which is closer to sixty-four. We know that seven nines are sixty-three. So after sixty-three days, also it will be on Monday. So sixty-third day is nothing going to be Monday. So sixty-fourth day is nothing but one day added to it. Which is nothing but Tuesday. So sixty fourth day will be nothing but Tuesday. So similarly, if they're going to ask you what is sixty second day, what do you do it? You know, sixty third day is Monday, so you subtract one. So sixty second day becomes Sunday. So they will ask you the same question by manipulating here different number of days. What do you do it? So you go to the closest multiple of seven to find the correct day that they've asked for. Let's just solve another sum. So the next question that they've given us: If 8 March 2006 is Wednesday, then what was the day of the week on 8 March 2005? So it's very simple. So how do we do it? So whatever we are doing before is nothing but we just go forward, add the, the number of odd days. Now we are going to do the same thing, but with small changes that we are going to subtract it. So here they are going to ask: If 8 March 2006 is a Wednesday, then what was the day of the week on 8 March 2005? So in 2006 we don't have to consider the odd day because we have crossed Feb there. So we have to consider the odd day of only 2005. We know that 2005 is not a leap year, so you know that there's only one odd day. So what are you going to do? As 2006 is a Wednesday, you're going to subtract one day here. So in order to get the 2005th day, so Wednesday minus one is nothing but Tuesday. So 8 March 2005 falls on a Tuesday. In the other problems, what we did is that we calculated the number of odd days in the future. So we added it. Now they have asked for the days in falling on the past. So what we do here is subtract it. In the case we are subtracting one odd day. Sometimes they would have asked instead of two thousand five, they would have asked two thousand one or two thousand three or whatever. So you have to calculate the number of odd days falling on each year and subtract it here from the given day that they have given. So let's solve another sum. The next question that they have given us: Radha celebrated her wedding anniversary on Tuesday, 30th September 1997. When she will celebrate her next wedding anniversary on the same day? Same day is nothing but when they are asking again. She will celebrate it on a Tuesday. How are we going to do it? We are going to do it on the same concept of odd days. So let's start counting the number of odd days. 1998 is not a leap year, so the number of odd days is one. 1999 is not a leap year, so number of odd days is one. 2000 is a leap year, so the number of odd days is two. 2001 is not a leap year, so the number of odd days is one. 2002 is nothing but number of odd days is one, and 2003 is one. So if you add it, you will know that. See, the same day will be repeated again after every seven thing. So if you know, if you add this, the total is nothing but seven. So this seven comes here after six years. So 1997. Plus six years, you are going to add it here, which is nothing but two thousand three. 
So, in 2003, 30th September, Radha is going to celebrate her anniversary again on a Tuesday. So, this is the same way you are going to follow for others. They would have given you a different date. What you are going to do? You have to calculate the odd days. When the odd days comes to a sum of 7, then you have to calculate the number of years you have taken here and add it to get the value here. In today's video, we discussed about the various problems that falls under calendar. In the next video, we will also solve a couple of more problems which falls under the calendar topic. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.